black. black. That's the package that you came in. African, Ethiopian, Nubian, Melanin. Hi guys, welcome, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, happy what's up? And if you're a channel subscriber, welcome home, baby. So as I can tell by the title, we're doing a Q and A, baby. I should have done this video like a few days ago, guys. Like I've been so lazy to do it, but like right now, I found the perfect time to do it. And like the lighting in my brother's room is so good. Like he's gonna kill me when he sees this. <laughs> but anyways, guys, I'm so excited to do today's video. So. I did ask people on my Instagram to like um, ask me questions. If you don't follow me on Instagram, you better go follow me right now. Go follow me so that like you can be updated. You know what I mean? I don't want to say much. So let us just get into the video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. Subscribe. It has to be like somewhere down there. And turn on your post notification bell so that you get notified every single time I post the video. And yeah let's get into it so the first question is why do you think it's worth it to go into online videos with all of the people already doing it so i once thought of this like honestly there's a lot of people on youtube there's a lot of people doing this um youtube thing and the only key is to be different there's no other person like you out there okay so try to be different in terms of your content and whatnot i mean i've thought of so many things to do that other people are not doing but like I'm so scared because like what if I don't get like enough audience and whatnot but then I'm open to trying out new stuff you know what I mean I mean I've thought of trying new stuff so to answer the question I do think it's worth it with me I enjoy doing it guys like to be honest I enjoy being in front of the camera uh, recording myself and also editing like guys I love editing no matter how annoying it is I do enjoy editing and just like, filming myself and stuff so like it's actually good with me like i'm not doing it to achieve something if i do achieve something or like if like you know i grow into someone or something that would be a bonus you know what i mean so i do enjoy doing this so yeah the only thing is just to be different and be yourself so i do think it's worth it the next question um is what made you create a youtube channel so if you're an og you know that like this channel was a trio channel meaning like it was a friendship channel i had two more friends that i created this channel with and i still remember this day like it was yesterday we were at mcdonald's like we were out on a friendship date and um we just thought at that moment why not create a youtube channel you know what i mean and prior to that i had always wanted a youtube channel but then i didn't have like the confidence to actually start the channel so when we decided to do the channel i was like so excited but then you know life happens and the friendship ended so conversations were had and then i took over the channel so i think i took over this channel when like it had 84 subscribers if i'm not mistaken yeah it had 84 subscribers so i've grown this channel from then until now by the way, you know, it's not a sit down video without something to sip on. So I stole this juice from my brothers. If you know, you know, like, this is for school, not for home, school. Like, when now this channel was mine, I was kind of like regretting why I took it because people started unsubscribing. Well, I grew, but then people would unsubscribe, you know. I mean, it's understandable because like, imagine subscribing to a channel that you thought you're going to see like three people or you're going to see this person or whatnot so yeah i grew and i lost a few subscribers but then i grew you know what i mean i don't know how many times i've thought of deleting this channel like there's a point where like i was so demotivated because imagine like recording a video taking time to edit the video and then like when you post it you don't get the engagement that you want from people so i was so demotivated dude and i just wanted to delete the channel i was so over it i was ready to quit youtube but then now like because i pray a lot literally i pray to god that you know what if this is what i'm meant to do then let me grow you know but if i'm not supposed to do this if i'm meant to quit then make me hated you know instead i loved it more and then i grew you know so prayer does work and yeah i love my channel so much i love you guys so much so the next question is what is the best piece of advice you could give a newbie 
I mean, in terms of YouTube, you should just be yourself. Like, be yourself, do what you want to do, and don't listen to what people say. You know, like, a person's opinion can do a lot. On the internet here, like, we say, like, mean things to people, and we don't know, like, how these things affect them. So, be yourself, and don't let people bring you down. If you enjoy doing this, then do it for yourself. You know what I mean? You'll get the right audience. You'll get the right people that are there. To support you throughout yeah be yourself like honestly because if you you are yourself people are gonna be able to follow you for what you are for who you are for your authenticity you know what i mean girl hurry so yeah the next question is are you currently talking to someone right now um am i talking to someone I don't want to say I'm talking to someone, you know, it's, dude, it's complicated, like, it's a lot. Next question is, how's life after matric? Honestly, life after matric is good and bad. Um, when you're in high school, you have a certain routine, you know. So, like, when I finished uh, my matric, I was so excited. Like, the first few months, I was so happy that I'm done with school. Like, I, the only thing that I hated about going to school was waking up in the morning. So, I was so happy that, like, that is over. Like, we are done with, like, waking up at 5 a.m. But, like, uh, it's good and bad. So, the good part about it is that, like, you don't have to go to school every single day, you know. And the bad part about it is that, like, you get to see the real world like when you're in high school like you are inside a bubble you know you cannot see what's happening outside like you're always going to school coming back going to school coming back you don't have to look for a job you don't have to make a cv there's a lot of things that like you cannot see when you're in high school so the minute you are done with high school or rather matric you get to see the real world you get to like understand where people come from you know and with me because I took a gap year and it was not a planned gap year, you know. So things are tough. Things are tough. Like, um, I'm always home, you know, like I didn't have anything planned for the gap year. So it's hard. So like also concerning the gap year, I wouldn't advise you to take a gap year. Like I wouldn't advise the matrix of this year to take a gap year next year because it's just a waste of time. And it's kind of depressing. I won't lie. It's depressing because like you're always home like you nothing is happening in your life like you're stuck basically you know so life after matric is good and bad i don't know if i've answered your question but like yeah the next question is what's your dream and what do you desire to be one day okay um to be honest i don't want to say like all of them on camera i'm just gonna say a few because about the law yeah like do <laughs> I want to be a lot of stuff like I want to do a lot of stuff in life but like like I said I wouldn't say them all I want to be a mom I want to leave this country I want my own production company I want my own um school you know and yeah that's it that's what you're getting that's what you're getting dude and the others you'll just see like to be honest you'll just see you will just see them, but like, those are the ones that like, I'm comfortable seeing right now. The next question is, who is your favorite YouTuber and why? So I have a lot of favorite YouTubers, like I have a bunch, okay? But like, I think I'll just say like the top five. I know like you said one, but like, I want to say like five of them because like, dude, I don't have a favorite, like the top one. I have like top five. I mean, there's more, but I'm just gonna mention top five. I'm the top one. It's me, Shorty Creations, uh, K Yams, mm, Mimi Kudu, <laughs> Ona Olifant, Lexi V. I know I forgot someone, dude. Yeah, but like, those are the ones that I love because their content is like calming soothing like refreshing those people motivate me you know like you know when a person just makes you feel like you want to be a better person like you know what i mean their content is that to me you know what i mean they are motivating just incredible i love them so 
yeah there's a bunch of them there's a lot of youtubers that i really like and admire like homo is kanye cakes um k republic or Tabi, um babiki you know so yeah the next question is advice to yourself honestly i feel like i'm always trying to like um change things that i cannot control or trying to control things that i cannot control which is a bad thing you know um i just need to let god you know take over the wheel of my life and i need to stop rushing things and love yourself more um appreciate yourself more be proud of who you are and who you are becoming um yeah that's my advice to myself and like stop doing things out of proportion dude it's not cute like you need to stop overthinking oh and be yourself don't listen to what people say and stop using the internet a lot yeah that's my advice to myself the next question is does your parents support you with this youtube journey um yeah i have um 100 support from my parents i mean at first like they couldn't understand you know like they couldn't make sense of what i was doing you know but then it took a lot of explaining for them to understand what this whole youtube thing is all about and i have their support like literally my parents they support me with everything that i want to do and i'm grateful for that like i am so blessed i thank god i thank the almighty because you know some people don't have that like imagine having to do something without your parents blessings so hence i say i'm grateful and i'm blessed and i thank god every single day for that um and yeah so yeah i think i answered the question the next question is what do you think of friendship so is this me defining friendship or I okay let me define friendship in terms of my friendships okay so i honestly believe or rather let me say when it comes to me i feel like a friendship should be a two-way street meaning that um what i do for you you should also do for me you know like reciprocate you know i think should friendship should be like that i mean you cannot do something for someone and they don't wait for you to i mean it's not like i do things expecting you to do them but then like it's a two-way thing it's a two-way street so yeah and i love friendship i love love you know i love friends i love seeing my friends happy like i, I honestly love seeing my friends happy and um friendship should be like about support being there time you know gifting you know i mean it's not like i mean right now we are students but then just in j for vibes <laughs> um, so i have a very close friend of mine and the other day like she sent me a text and the text like meant a lot to me and she was like telling me that with her um she likes um assurance like she she wants to be assured that she is loved she wants to be assured that you know what i'm there for her and she has seen that you know she she knows that i'm there for her she knows that i'm always that no matter what no matter where you know so and that's what i want i love that so i think with friends dude just be there for your friend and don't stab them in the back that's not being a friend you know so yeah that's friendship i love friendship it, this person asked would you be keen to make friends from social media um for example instagram um yeah i like meeting new people dude and honestly i prefer meeting a person on the internet than like um live i don't know because i'm shy like imagine me like having to make a friend having to befriend you while like we are together it's gonna be awkward like i'm super shy i'm super awkward i'm weird okay so yeah but i don't mind honestly so yeah um yeah i think we've come to the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe share with your friends and your family members and yeah i love you guys so much and thank you for your support thank you for 800 subscribers um there's a video that i shot before this one i think you guys are gonna see it after this one yeah but like thank you guys so much and i hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe and yeah 
Love you. Mm.